Welcome everybody to the introduction of automated flight in block 8 and this is just the introduction to show you uh, what we'll be doing during this course, what reading material we will be using and where you can find all the information regarding this course. Now the schedule for the uh, next weeks is this, uh, similar to what we would do if we would have in-person teaching is we will have a lecture now that will be either a pre-recorded video like this um, or it will be a virtual classroom and we will do uh, see this on a week by week basis because there are quite a few holidays uh, in the upcoming months so we won't be able to fit a lecture in every week but uh, if there's no lecture there will definitely be a video but uh, I personally prefer to have a virtual classroom. Now for all the groups there will be a workshop, it will be 100 minutes and that will also be a virtual classroom. Now I urge you to come prepared. This is uh, not a meeting where you um, sit in large groups, you will be at home and therefore uh, your time is um, going to be very concentrated. So have questions ready and make sure you have everything to be up and running uh, then. There's no coffee breaks. You. Um, that there, there is no uh, overhead, uh, but it is the time that we will be there for you, and uh, so make the most use of this time. Now, the virtual classrooms are by group, and you can only attend the virtual classroom um, that uh, you have been uh, scheduled in. Um, this is to ensure that we have a maximum number of people which is manageable for uh, each of the lecturers. In the schedule, there's a second lecture that will be a recap session where we will uh, answer questions that you have uh, posed beforehand and any questions that pop up uh, as a result of that. There won't be a whole presentation. It will be in the form of a virtual classroom and everybody can attend, but you will be asked to prepare questions in advance. In advance. Now, uh, after nine weeks, of uh, lectures and workshops there will be an exam. The format of the exam I'm not entirely sure of now as um, as well as date but that information will be posted on our Brightspace page. Any announcements, any changes to the schedule, any um, last minute information will be posted on Brightspace as well so keep that page, um, uh, well have a look at that page regularly and make sure you, that you monitor the announcements. The book we will be using for a lot of the mathematics um, is Mathematics for Engineers. This is the newest edition. There's also a fourth edition. Both really work the same way. It's all fine, uh, but you have to have this book. Uh, without it, well, um, uh, it will be quite difficult to, for, uh, to do the um, uh, exercises. There are some other books that might be of use. There are four listed here. Uh, I also use this one. Uh, it was used for control theory in Delft. Uh, I don't expect you to have this, but it's nice uh, for background re uh, reading. And also there's a lot of content on YouTube that might be helpful to um, get more of a background into control engineering. Automated flight builds upon the some of the courses you've had in blocks 5, 6 and 7. So engineering, mathematics and modeling laid the basis for differential equations and modeling physical systems um, using second order differential equations. Airframe mechanics gave you um, an overview of how to take a physical system and uh, take the forces and accelerations that work upon certain bodies, how to create free body di diagrams and uh, some kinetics and kinematics. The systems we'll be uh, investigating in automated flight have to do with mechanical um, uh, systems but also materials. Signal uses and analysis and uh, uh, electrical power systems gave you an introduction into complex analysis and we will be covering um, uh, more on complex numbers in this course as well. Um, the, they covered vibrations of systems and uh, how oscillations can occur within 
uh, electronical, uh, electrical and mechanical systems. We will be using all these topics to continue this and to analyze systems in terms of behavior and also try to model control systems so that we can uh, make sure that our systems exhibit the behavior we want. So the learning objectives of automated flight is, well, understanding basic control theory terminology, applying complex analysis and the Laplace transform, um, being able to calculate the stability of single degree of freedom systems and to compute response and dynamical characteristics of a system model as a function of a single input. We will be looking at simple systems, but most of the theory that we're uh, that we will describe here also um, translate to larger systems and more complicated systems. So the course program. The first four weeks will be uh, doing a lot of mathematics and so for every week there will be a mathematical video and there will be a control theory video and after these four weeks these two will intersect and we will use the mathematics that we have uh, discussed to uh, go into more depth of control system or well, control theory. So the first week will be complex analysis and an introduction, introduction to control theory and systems. Then we will continue with the complex um, uh, analysis and introduce the Laplace transform uh, where we will um, uh, discuss the Laplace, Laplace transform in the context of solving differential equations. We will continue some more about historical developments in uh, control, th um, control theory in aviation as well. In week three, we will continue the Laplace transform and work on partial fraction expansions, which we will need to perform the inverse of the Laplace transform. And there will also be some uh, control theory there. Week four, we finalize partial fraction expansion and introduce the, uh, the, uh, this technique to mass spring damper systems. In week five, we start building our control theory. We'll uh, start with block diagrams investigate uh, and investigate the stability of systems, which will continue in week six. Weeks seven and eight are dedicated to controlling systems and we will start with a proportional controller and see how that influ uh, influences stability. And in week eight, we will talk about a, pro a proportional controller of a mass spring damper system. We will also talk about PID, proportional in the uh, great uh, integrator and um, derivative controllers in a more general sense, but most of the calculations will relate to a uh, proportional control. Uh, week 9 will be a recap and a mock exam, and week 10 there will be a final written exam. This was a short introduction to uh, this course, and the next videos will um, be uh, the content for uh, the 8 weeks that uh, lay in front of us.